What is vitamin B9 or folic acid? Hi guys, this is Hazel and welcome to Wellness Today. Vitamin B9, also called folate or folic acid, is one of eight B vitamins. All B vitamins help the body convert food, the carbohydrates, into fuel, glucose, which is used to produce energy. These B vitamins, often referred to as B complex vitamins, also help the body use fats and protein. B complex vitamins are needed for a healthy liver and healthy skin, hair, and eyes. They also help the nervous system function properly. Folic acid is the synthetic form of B9 found in supplements and fortified foods while folate occurs naturally in foods. All the B vitamins are water-soluble, meaning the body does not store them. Folic acid is crucial for proper brain function and plays an important role in mental and emotional health. It aids in the production of DNA and RNA, the body's genetic material, and is especially important when cells and tissues are growing rapidly, such as in infancy, adolescence, and pregnancy. Folic acid also works closely with vitamin B12 to help make red blood cells and help iron work properly in the body. Vitamin B9 works with vitamins B6 and B12, and other nutrients to control blood levels of the amino acid homocysteine. High levels of homocysteine are associated with heart disease. However, researchers are not sure whether homocysteine is a cause of heart disease or just a marker that indicates someone may have heart disease. It is fairly common to have low levels of folic acid, alcoholism, Inflammatory bowel disease or IBD, and celiac disease can cause folic acid deficiency. Also, certain medications may lower levels of folic acid in the body. Folic acid deficiency can cause poor growth, tongue inflammation, gingivitis, loss of appetite, shortness of breath, diarrhea, irritability, forgetfulness, and mental sluggishness. Pregnant women need more folic acid to lower the risk of neural tube birth defects, including cleft palate, spina bifida, and brain damage. Neural tube defects are birth defects caused by abnormal development of the neural tube, a structure that eventually gives rise to the brain and spinal cord. As mentioned, pregnant women who do not get enough folic acid are more likely to have children with birth defects. Pregnant women should get 600 micrograms of folic acid per day. Women who plan to become pregnant should make sure to get the recommended 400 micrograms per day since many neural tube defects can happen shortly after conception and before a woman even knows she is pregnant. Prenatal vitamins contain the needed amount of folic acid for pregnant women. Studies show that women who take folic acid supplements before conception and during the first trimester may reduce their risk of having children with neural tube defects by 72 to 100 percent. Other studies suggest that in the setting of folic acid fortification of grains, folic acid supplementation does not appear to offer further benefit for preventing spina bifida. Folic acid may also help prevent miscarriage, although the evidence is not clear. Child development studies show that taking prenatal folic acid supplements at the time of conception is associated with a lower risk of autism. Other studies show that taking folic acid supplements in early pregnancy was associated with a reduced risk of severe language delay in children at age 3 years. And some research suggests that low folate levels during pregnancy is associated with a higher risk of emotional problems in the offspring. Age-related hearing loss. One study suggests that folic acid supplements help slow the progression of age-related hearing loss in elderly people with high homocysteine levels and low folate in their diet. It is not known whether healthy seniors would benefit. 
age-related macular degeneration or AMD. One large study found that women who took 2,500 micrograms of folic acid along with 500 milligrams of vitamin B6 and 1,000 micrograms of cyanocobalamin daily reduce risk of developing AMD, an eye disease that can cause vision loss. Next is depression. The evidence about whether folic acid can help relieve depression is mixed. Some studies show that 15 to 38 percent of people with depression have low folic levels in their bodies, and those with very low levels tend to be the most depressed. One study found that people who did not get better when taking antidepressant had low levels of folic acid. A double-blind placebo-controlled study found that taking 500 micrograms of folic acid daily helped the antidepressant Prozac work better in women, but possibly not men. Another study found that taking folic acid and vitamin B12 was no better than placebo in relieving depression in older people. You can develop folic deficiency anemia if you don't eat enough foods that have folic acid. These include green leafy vegetables, fresh fruits, fortified cereals, yeast and meats including liver, and if you drink too much alcohol. Foliate is the form of vitamin B9 found in natural food sources. You can't get too much folate. However, it's possible to take too much folic acid, the man-made form found in supplements and fortified foods. Doing so can cause stomach problems, trouble sleeping, and skin reactions. A diet low in fresh fruits, vegetables, and fortified cereals is the main cause of folate deficiency. In addition, overcooking your food can sometimes destroy the vitamins. Folate levels in your body can become low in just a few weeks if you don't eat enough folate-rich foods. Rich sources of folate include the following. Precautions. Because of the potential for side effects and interactions with medications, you should take dietary supplements only under the supervision of an eligible health care provider. At the recommended daily allowance, side effects from folic acid are rare. Very high doses can cause stomach problems, sleep problems, skin reactions, confusion, loss of appetite, nausea, and seizures. Talk to your doctor before taking more than 800 micrograms of folic acid. Folic acid can hide the symptoms of an underlying vitamin B12 deficiency, which can cause permanent damage to the nervous system. Taking any one of the B vitamins for a long period of time can result in an imbalance of other important B vitamins. For this reason, you may want to take a B complex vitamin, which includes all the B vitamins. People who are being treated for seizures or cancer should not take folic acid without talking to their doctors. The best time to take folic acid is in the morning. Digestion is slows at night, so taking your vitamins in the morning will allow for better and more efficient absorption in your system. Thank you for watching guys! If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Wellness Today by Hazel, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you! Bye!